one point like I was so close to, to giving up and to just, just stopping because I didn't think I could do it without my mum. But it wasn't nice, obviously, because when I got into puberty, he started kicking off, do you know what I mean? Giving it large portions, big time. And I, I had to get taken out of school and put in hospital. Uh, and I got diagnosed with the worst Tourette's in Europe at that time. 50 out of 55 known twitches. Uh, but I was pretty fucking severe, do you know what I mean? So. First of all, thank you for listening to my story. Your story is equally as important. People who struggle with sleep end up in dark places on their own, you know, you sit alone, we don't get involved in like politics or things that can cause people to argue. Really all we want to do is provoke people's passions that kind of get dulled in everyday life. Everyone's got a story and it all carries a powerful message. It all carries a powerful message. Cases Podcast, hosted by Damo Sims and Nick Stopani. Hello, welcome to Head Cases Podcast, episode seven, with me, Nick Stopani, and my wonderful co host, Mr. Damo Sims. This is Head Cases Podcast, Britain's freshest mental health talk show. Now, Damo, on today's show, we're talking to an incredibly inspiring young man. He's a content creator whose popularity is growing daily. And I've got to say that I've contributed to his live Ooh. shows on TikTok several occasions, mate. I really have. And I think I'm also right in saying, Nick, tell me if I'm wrong, I've heard that there is no bitching. Yep. No snitching and yep. definitely no making bam blush. Absolutely. Um, all this, I think some people do try that. <laughs> they do, um, they do. Now, I am looking forward to our conversation with Bam in yeah. a moment. But before that, Nick, how can people get involved in the show? Several ways, Damo. We do have a WhatsApp number. Uh, it's so easy to send us a text or a voice note. The number is 07822 010 Eight one nine, and of course, if you're outside of the UK, dial plus four four and omit the first zero. That number again: oh seven eight double two oh one oh eight one nine. Wonderful, right? And also, obviously, we do have a list of helplines and websites available on the Head Cases uh, website, which is headcasespodcast.co.uk. And you'll also see the links to all our kind of social media channels and all that as well. And uh, can I can just mention as well, Nick, you yeah. don't really sound yourself today. We, are you okay? Oh, do you know what, Damo? I'm I'm not feeling the very, very best. I am Tell not. Tell me about it. Oh, what, what, I've, got, look, it's like I've got a bug. I've got a bug. Really? Yeah, sometimes I think I'm going to lose my voice, but I'm, I'm, you know, that'll be nice to say. We'll be nice to, yeah, yeah, it'll be nice for some people. (laughs) Um, (laughs) But yeah, I, um, oh, I don't know what it was. I don't know where I've caught it from. Apparently there's a lot going around. There's a lot. I mean, bless you. You you do really sound like kind of a little bit rough, but we'll we'll, we'll stick together. We'll hold hands and we'll get through this, mate, together. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Do you know what? That's what mates do. That's well, what mates do. Oh, that's very kind of it. But let's get on with the show, shall we? I think we should right now, mate, yes. <laughs> you know it makes sense. You know it makes <laughs> it sense. Does, it does. Okay, well, now it's time to introduce today's guest. Bam, welcome to the show. Uh, first of all, uh, for those who aren't already aware of your presence on social media, could you just explain what it is that you do? Okay, um, so... What we do is I host a almost a variety show for people who have inner passion. Um, and that's kind of what I like to look at is uh, I, with talent shows now, I feel like it's always being um, scouted for perfection. So what we yeah. do is give a platform for people who like to sing or like to draw, whatever it may be. Um just as an outlet and appreciate it. So the the main motto of the live that I host is we build each other up, we don't tear each other down. Brilliant. And that's, nice. that's kind nice. of what we roll with. That's fine. What, what a lovely thing that is, though. But what, can, I just really want to get to the to the crux of it, Bam. Why? Well, first of all, hold on a minute. Let's, I'm, I'm backtracking now. Why are you called Bam? Is, is, is that your real name? 
Uh, it's not. Bam is not my real name, but <laughs> Bam is my most that Bam is my most uh, used term of endearment. It's very personal. It's very personal to me. So it's not as if I've created a pseudonym to separate myself from people. Yeah. I've actually allowed my name that my family call me, uh, you know, and allow people to embrace that. So, um, yeah, it's not it's not a barrier. It's more of a, an opening. And uh, are you ask him where it come from. Is that yes, is that what you want? Yeah, yeah. I'm intrigued. Okay, so so um, I am the eldest of four, and uh, my little sister uh, couldn't say my real name, and she would always say Bam. And uh, yeah, it, it, it kind of stems from there. And then my family started calling me Bam, and then I was always kind of like the Joker, the stuntman of like my. Um, my outer groups, like my friends and things like that. And coincidentally, they started calling me Bam as well. So, uh, yeah, it, it kind of, that that was it. I was just given the name and I rolled with it. And then it became like a stage name. Um, I remember I was going through like performing arts and things like that. And I would always use the name Bam. So it's... Well, I tell you, that's, that's, it, it, it really does suit you. I mean, I it's what it's one hell of a cool name, ain't it? I only it's know you as Bam. I only know you as Bam. I mean, you know, <laughs> you, you will always be Bam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I mean. It's more, as I said, it's not a shut out thing. It's more of an invite thing. It's, um, I like to get personal with people. I do. I like to invite people to get to know me uh, for what I am, for who yeah. I am. You know, and. You know, I, I kind of consider myself to be an open book. So you, you say that, I mean, just tell us a little bit, Bam, as well, about you mentioned your family and you're the eldest of four, but all that kind of, um, you, you know, you you do this, is, is kind of the acting, is the, the talented side of things, is that something in your family or is that something that you've just kind of naturally been gifted with yourself? I think I, I come from a very creative family. Um, so my granddad, for instance, he's he's kind of where we get a lot of our creative side. You know, uh, I'm from a very big uh, family and close knitted, and uh, we all have our own character traits and um, I create. We're all creative, I guess, and I kind of wanted to take that to new levels you know so i i think i'm the first of my family to really take what i have and roll with it whereas uh a lot of a lot of the others they they're kind of very creative but do their own thing as in terms of uh like work and things like that that's wonderful absolutely wonderful. The, the other thing i wanted to ask is you you've got this phrase because you came to you came well. You came to my attention um, and the show's attention from Nick. Nick contacted me one night and said, "You you've got to meet this guy. This guy called Bam." And I'm like, "Okay, okay." <laughs> um, and um, obviously, I looked at some of your stuff online. Um, you're very natural. You know, you, you're extremely natural in front of a, car, a, a camera. Um, I'm really happy as well where your name came from because initially. When you hear your name's Bam, you think, is this a character that he portrays? Well, it isn't. It's just your nickname, and that is your character that mm. we see on screen, which is even more wonderful, wonderful. to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, it, and it is. Um, what, why, why did, I mean, I know Nick's mentioned this already, but what, why did you Why did you feel that that was the media that you wanted to go out to? Because you, 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 for a very short period of time, I believe, that you've been online, you, you've done really well. Um, I just felt like uh, I... At a young age, I'm, I'm 23, I think not enough people engage in self-reflection. And I think I was kind of forced into that. Um, I've been in a lot of situations myself, and um, I've at times been known to be hot-headed or uh, deal with things incorrectly. And I remember I kind of sat there. Uh, one night, so I'm very bad with sleep. That's another reason why I do the lives. Um, but I'm, I'm very bad with sleep, and I found that I found myself self-reflecting and uh, and going over like common issues that the world shares, or at least from my perspective, what I believe the world shares, and that's like um, a dull in passion. And I think again, it's gonna it's gonna relate. 
uh, relay back to passion quite a lot, I think, because that's uh, that's something that, you know, I'm very, well, very passionate about, I guess. <laughs> and it shows, but, though, Bam. It really does show. Yeah, it really it does. does show. And you've just got to read the comments on your TikTok Live from your viewers to know what such a special guy you are. It, it's, I it, it is so, so powerful. Um, I, I think it's, it's worth mentioning. Now, you mentioned, obviously, you know, you, you, you have trouble with your sleep. It's very important, I think, to mention that your lives go... go <laughs> I mean, just, just you know, for, for those that, that aren't aware, tell us about your lives, Bam. Tell us about your TikTok lives. So the way I run the live, the way I run the live is based on my battery percentage, right? And uh, I'll go live and it'll be on like, it's on 80% now. So if I was to go live, it's clocking down. And when it, when my phone dies, that's the end of the live. That's the end of the so anything that happens, <laughs> that's the end of the show. <laughs> but um, I give updates as we go through. So it'll be like, oh, 50%. So, and people are asked to come up and I'll be like, yeah, you can come up at like 45% and... I kind of monitor it that way. But, uh, yeah, I've always struggled with sleep. And I find people who struggle with sleep end up in dark places on their own. You know, you sit alone yeah. uh, often in your room or it's quiet and that's when your brain kind of overworks. Mm. And I just thought it would be cool to create kind of a – almost like a – I've been told this, that it's like a FaceTime element where people feel engaged and they feel like they're not on their own. And, uh, yeah, we just talk about sweet nothings. We don't get involved in, like, politics or things that can cause people to argue. Really all we want to do is – provoke people's passions that kind of get dulled in everyday life because you've got to go to work you've got to you've got responsibilities and things like that and a lot of the time a lot of people will tell you not to go for the thing you're passionate about especially if you're not perfect in it you know mm. especially if it's yeah. uh, if it's a craft you're working on and uh, people only want to see the end result they don't usually want to see you taking the steps, the steps you know? to it yeah absolutely do you know do you yeah. know what i've just got to mention right when people mention um because the one thing i hate the one thing i do hate in this world right now is this idea that perfection is some kind of a goal that we need to get to and yeah. Yeah. i take a lot of my life from lyrics of, fel- uh, of songs that i like now there's, there's a I'm line in an oasis track where noel gallagher wrote true perfection has to be imperfect and he says, I know that sounds foolish, but it's true. And it is true. If you're looking for perfection, you will never find it. But if you find a rough diamond, that's perfect. And that's all you need in life, isn't it? A rough diamond. That's it. That's it's it. And, uh, and on the on the song lyric thing, I definitely relate to you there, Damo, um, with that. I only listen to music that either I relate to or have a really good message behind. And yeah. I really like this, uh, this line from Manskin. Uh, you... You don't need money in your jeans to be an artist, you know? Yeah. So Brilliant. it's uh, it's it's one of those things where being creative is free to an extent. It's you know, it's it's very down to the soul in your core. It's uh it's an outlet and I think having that silenced constantly by society because you're not perfect, because we only want to hear the perfect singers. We only want to see the perfect actors and they're kind of the only ones that get a chance, you know, Um, which to me kind of, I don't know, it's discouraging. I've just, just also got to ask this because I've heard this phrase, these phrases a few times and you knew I'm going to ask you this. What, (laughs) tell me what it means by no bitching, no snitching no. and no making Bam blush. What are the three <laughs> rules? How to interpret that? So what, what's Brilliant. the bitching? What's the snitching? And, how, and why do you pe- want people not to make you blush? Tell us them three things, mate. So no bitching, no snitching, right? So with TikTok, their guidelines are very um, they're very tight, right? I got, I got uh, a restriction today for saying thank you to somebody who complimented uh, one of my videos. I li- all I said was thank you, and yeah, that got pulled. Um, okay. So what I'll do, <laughs> what I'll do during my live is I'll go like to the side, and this came from uh, <laughs> my first my first ever live. I'll go to the side to the, to vape, and it started off. I was like, no snitching, so don't, <laughs> you know, don't be telling TikTok. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> 
<laughs> ace. Then, That's ace. Fantastic. Wow. Then, do, you know, um, do you know what about being blocked? Next, next, that's removed today. You put, yeah. you, put hashtag con- you put hashtag condom on yeah. social media and they removed it and you had a message sent through saying not to do that. Hashtag condom. No yes. Yeah. What's TikTok for you? <laughs> He's TikTok uh, for you. Practicing safety. What are they? Uh, what exactly. Are they, what are they of? <laughs> oh, it's madness, isn't it? It's absolutely madness. And, and why no making bum? Uh, but not bum. But <laughs> why not? Why not making bum blush? What's what's that then? Uh, see that that come from that's fairly new. That's like a third rule that's come in. But um, the comments tend to have uh, tend to get flooded with uh, I must say excessive. Complimentary, yeah. Bam's jawline, the jawline, <laughs> okay. just the by the way Bam looks. I feel the oh. pain, mate. I feel the pain. I get it all the time. I can't even do it down the shop, mate. So, so Wolf Wessel me or something, you know. That's it, in it, Demo. It's, it's madness. Oh. You must, you know, it's, it must be nice though. Do you know to you know all that love out there for you, Bam? It's got to be nice. No, it, it is like it's nice. It's overwhelming. I can say that. It's uh like. I've only been going a week, you know. I've only been going a week and a in a couple of days now, and uh, I've just come back from a from a break. Um, but yeah, I was not expecting uh, the kind of attention that I got. I guess so. I was kind of overwhelmed by it and yeah. the the positive attention because I was expecting a lot of trolls. I was expecting, you know, just have a lot of back and forth even though that wasn't what i wanted i didn't want that that was never my intent um but yeah it's it's very wholesome how uh how the lives run and everybody's so close-knitted um it's like forming a genuine community there's people like working together and collaborating and that's amazing to see and when i took my break when i took my break i heard that some of the bam fam that's like the community we're building um would actually go in live to keep the atmosphere going while I was oh, gone. Wow. And I wow. think that's amazing. You Isn't know, that wonderful? Amazing. Absolutely yeah. wonderful. Gosh. Wow. You've created I'm, something that's alive, haven't you? That's what you've done. You've created something that's alive. And, and even when you're not there, people are keeping the plate spinning for you, which is awesome. Yeah, totally, totally. I, I'm Again, I'm still quite shocked by it, Demo. Like, I'm very um, struck because... It's like, what's next, you know? And I want to keep giving. I want to keep um, keep people happy and keep people motivated because that's the thing. There's, uh, we've had people on there who have come up and they've said, look, I was never really that confident. I was never – I was always shy until I started coming on the lives and they'll come up and they'll sing. And because they're not being teared down, they're getting better and better because they're comfortable. People are able to uh, develop if they're comfortable, you know? It's a safe uh, space that you're providing, Bam, quite simply. That's that's kind of the intent behind it, and you see it as well. And, like, I've been able to see it, and that's very rewarding on my end, I think, just to see people really going for it. Like, it's not about fame. It's not about money. It's about doing it. Like, I always say the thing that you're passionate about is the very thing you'll do for free. Absolutely. freaking lutely Yes, spot true. on, <laughs> absolutely spot on. Now, Bam, we'll, we'll talk about what's to come in the future for the Bam Fam and and, and you. Uh, but first of all, I want you to listen to this. I spoke to a lovely. You might recognise her. You might recognise her. She has this to okay. say. I kind of randomly stumbled across Bam's live the day or the night that I got back from my mum's funeral. So I'd had like a bit of a like a bit of a down look down in the dumps kind of day and it was just one of the things where like I, it, I i come across it just on my for you page and it was like it was giving up proper it was giving off like proper positive vibes so i thought like why not i'll i'll stick around and then i think the second time i joined i, I plucked up the courage to ask if i could go up and sing and he got he got me up and i think since then i've been going up every night because he's like he's really helped build like rebuild my confidence and kind of relight the spark, like in my passion f- um, for my music. Because at one point, like I was so close to to giving up and to just just stopping because I didn't think I could do it without my mum. Every time I go up, he reassures me again that him and everyone else in the community has my back. 
I, I, honestly, I could sit and talk about how much this man has helped me for hours. Oh. Like he's he's he really is just amazing. It is something that I think really helps a lot of people. Like just in the comments alone, when when I'm like reading through them, I see so many people like saying how amazing he is and how much he's helped them, and like it's true like he has helped so many people to the point like I don't even think he fully gets or like fully realizes how much he actually does so proud to be part of the BAM fam there's three rules in 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 the BAM fam okay and you have to listen to them there's no snitching no bitching and no making BAM blush Oh, has that been broken that one? Let me tell you. Has that made you blush, ma'am? Oh yes, uh, <laughs> yes. The third rule has been broken. <laughs> there, there we are. Then. Oh, obviously. Now That's that it. that was a regular a viewer. Uh, her name's Trin, and do you know what? I've spoken to Trin, and you re you honestly you have done wonders for her, Bam. So thank That's you. Crazy. So, Bam, you just see that, that audio there. I mean, obviously, I can see you, you, you moved by that as well, but how, how does that make you feel? I think you're, you're a very humble person. You don't realise the good, the great and good that you're doing for people. How does it make you feel hearing that? How does that make me feel? That is, is as, I, as I said, it's uh, overwhelming. It's, um, I'm, I'm speechless. It makes me speechless, and I don't have many words for that. And I mean that as genuine as I possibly can. Um, it's it's good to know that I I can help people. That That's amazing to know. I always try and... The thing is, I always try and deflect it, though, because this the, the power is in these people. You know, that's where, it, that's where it lies. It's always... It's there to begin with. And I always say that when they come up and they say thank you and they, you know, you really helped me out. It's like I only did so much I, I hosted a live that's that's what I did I hosted a live and um I allowed you to speak and and that's that's all I did and the rest is within you then you know and uh how do I feel about it I'm amazed by it I'm absolutely amazed and you should be really proud, mate. You should, yeah. you should be really, really proud of what you've done because, in in a relatively small period of time, and again, you know, the the fact that this this is testament to what kind of a good person you are. You're even playing down, and I know you've not done you've done this for any recognition whatsoever. I know you've not gone out there because you're trying to get a platform to to better yourself, as in like kind of to to make some kind of fame or monetary value from it. But trust me, mate. Trust me. With with a character like yourself. I hate using the phrase, but you do have that kind of X factor about you. There's something about you that's that's really different, um, unique, and that, that, yeah, unique. unique. And and this, yeah, and you've got you've the quality. Got a unique, yeah, you've oh. got a unique look, but not just that. You've got a, a unique kind of um, soul as well, and that comes across. So I think the the fact is that the people that you've helped, and I know they help you just as much, obviously by being on there you've presented them with something that they never had before. And for that, mate, you need to be commended completely. Honestly, you, you've done such a fantastic job up until now. And I'm, I'm really proud to say that, you know, we, we know each other now and I'm looking forward to seeing your journey and, and where you go. Because I see big things for you, mate. I really do see big, big things for you. Thank you so much, Damo. Like, that means, that means like, more than you know to me, that do. Um, and it, it really does. I, I've got, I've, you know, I've got my own big dreams and I, I've got my own passions. Um, but no, that's not what it was about. It was about like doing it together. Like I can't sing, right? I can't sing for, for anything. But it's that on, on the lives, like they ask me like, oh, bam, could you, could you sing for us? But And I'll do it, you know. Just you did it, yeah. I, I was watching, bam. I was watching. Yeah. Actually, no, that's it. You love it's it. Just to, just to reinforce, you, you know, don't feel afraid to look silly because even the thing you're passionate about, like, and you all know this as co like content creators, is like you're going to make the cringy stuff first, you know? Yeah. And it's about getting through that and the bad comments and they're inevitable. Unfortunately, that's the way the world is. Um, and you'll, you'll have to go through this real tear down before you start kind of like finding your feet. And it's, it's pretty much more of like a, a platform for um, 
that kind of cuts that bit out. You know, it kind of, the, the point of it is to kind of cut out that bit, let you come up and be unconfident. And then, yeah, that was wicked. Come up again, you know, and you're a little more confident. Come up again. There's another really good um, good artist we have on there, um, A6. His A6, name is. Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> really, really good dude. Uh, he's 16 years old. He's making music, but he's very, uh, he plays around with it a lot. And that's amazing, I think, anyway. I think, uh, you know, it's good to experiment and find your feet. And to be allowed to do that without feeling judged, I think, really helps. That's wonderful. In terms of the BAM fam and your TikTok lives, what is coming up in the future? What are your plans, BAM? So my um, agenda is what people sometimes ask me about. It's yeah. like, all right, so you do all this stuff. What's your agenda? What's your goal? And I'll be honest, okay, my agenda, if you will, is I really just wanted to get people's um, to get people's attention so I can kind of show them what I do, whether I make a short film or something like that. But at the same time is I want to see yours too. You know, I kind of want to see what you do. And uh, I think that's the best way of like, uh, for creative people, I don't think a creative journey is a journey to do on your own. You know, as soon as you think, oh, I can do this by myself. I don't need oh, nobody. Oh, no, 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 no. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I tell you what, with, with for me, per, can I just talk about my my personal personal situation, Bam? I was I was working at ITV at the time, and and then lockdown happened. So then I literally I had my my contract wasn't renewed. I lost my passion. I lost my enthusiasm for being creative. And I tell you what, it's only just in the last few months. It's taken that amount of time. I mean, I'm having th- I'm having therapy at the moment, and you know, it's life is a struggle for me at times. But also, I'm so grateful that I've got a freaking roof over my head. I've got food in the. T- you know what? Of course, that's yes. the way I deal with it, Bam. That's the way I deal with it. Um, but you've you've hit the nail on the head because being around creative people is such a medicine. I'm going to say medicine because it is for, for me yeah. personally. And I can only talk about, you know, my own personal experiences. How about you, Damo? What's your perception on that? I, I, I completely agree. I think um, the one thing that sets us aside from animals, which, by the way, I love all animals. So this is not me putting animals down. Trust me. I've got a menagerie in the house. Oh, he has. He, he, yeah. he, he lives in a zoo, bam. I'll tell you. You will not believe how many animals I've got, mate, in the house. <laughs> Put it this way. My, my missus is going away next week uh, with a son. We live with a son who's got special needs. He's 22. Yeah. Um, and they're going, they're going to Ibiza with a group that, that she goes to. I'm, I'm actually off half a day. I'm only doing half days at work because I've got to be here to look after the animals. That's how many are in oh, the house. bless you. So I'm, I'm actually working from home next week for half a day. Um, I, 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 I agree. I think medicine is a perfect phrase as well, by the way, mate. It's, yeah. it's a really good phrase, that is. And I think um, there's some, humans are, are very magical inside, aren't they? Because the only oh. thing that restricts you from... from Creating something is your own imagination. That's the only thing that, that prevents you from creating it. I have a strange way of thinking, which Nick knows all about. I completely have the, the concepts I wholeheartedly buy into as the conceive, believe, receive mentality. Absolutely. And it's happened over and over and over again for me. Some of those crazy things that I've wanted and that I've believed that I've got it, and it's actually happened. The most bizarre things have happened in my life. Yeah. And purely because I, I, I think humans, I think we're more special than we think we are. We just don't know it. Um, but I, I think, just going back to your, to, I think I've been trying to think of the, the recipe for your your um, show that you do. I think as you've hit the nail on the head as well, Bam. When you said that about creating it, and it's not about just you, it's about these other people. You were a very selfless kind of person. Your show is not about Bam. This is how I saw it. I, I do have a, a weird way of looking at things again, so I do apologise how this comes across. I like but, perspective. But the way the way that you you do your show very, comes across to me like years ago, um, if you had a karaoke on in a pub, 
the bloke, who's normally a bloke who did the karaoke, he would yeah. always start the music, he'd get up, and no matter how good or bad he was at singing, he'd, do he'd it. sing the first song, and then he'd come off and other people would go up. He, he broke the, the ice, didn't he? He's the person who said, look, That's I'm it. having a go, mate. You, people say to me when you go up and sing, Damon, because I've, I've been out and, and done the singing and that lot, what do you do when I say, well, if you don't enjoy yourself, no one else will. That's the number exactly. one rule about singing. It doesn't matter Absolutely. how good or bad you are, just yeah. enjoy yourself. You've got to give props to the first guy to get up and break yeah. the ice, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Too so right. Way to go with that is, um, but yeah, no, that's it. And it's the same with like dancing at a club, you know? You'll yeah. find everybody sat down until the one person gets up first and, yeah. and then suddenly the dance floor will get crowded, you know? Yeah. And I think uh, it's that like monkey see, monkey do element yeah. of, mm. of things, you know? If you're going to look at it kind of on the psychological um, yeah. side of it. Yeah, it's all right. Come on, I'm on the dance floor. Come up with us. We'll have a good laugh. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, and that's what you do. I think that, that that again, not to go back over to the the audio we played as well earlier on, but I've heard that audio now. It's the second time I've heard it. That that woman, she she means every word there, mate. So I mean, I know you don't want Trin. To, to feel to feel yeah, Trin. I don't want you to feel that, that, that I'm trying to um, put this back over you to kind of run through it again. But if ever you get a chance to listen to this podcast again. Just listen to that, Barry. That's what you've done to one person's life, mate. That's how much you've helped one person. And never forget that you you have, with the group of people you're in, you have that power to keep growing this, mate. And I know you will. I just know you will. For me, it was always like, the more the merrier, okay? But if I could put a smile on 10 people's faces, that's when I first started the live, it was like uh, I got laughed at a bit uh, by people close to me. You know, what are you doing and all that? Um but as I said, I struggled with sleep, so I, I didn't have much going on anyway. And it was kind of, at first, a distraction for myself. And when people started joining in, they would join in. And I just end up conversating, you know. But I'm they're not putting on an act. I'm just being genuine. They're, they're coming up and I'm talking to them like, you know, I got mates over or something. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's brilliant. But, uh, no, but that's, yeah. that's exactly what it is, it's though, still. because you're so... <laughs> You're so relatable. You're so likable. It is your uh, your on screen chemistry, Bam, is phenomenal. It is phenomenal, and I I know for a fact that you will go very very far in your chosen career because I know I did hear on a live, Bam, that you are going to a university. Yes, that is um, definitely the plan. So I've got a five month plan at the moment and that well it was five months when i started uh but in september yeah i'm hoping to go into a uh, university to study film and that's that's always been a passion of mine like i mean from when i was really young and you know i kind of picked the ball up dropped the ball and kind of lost interest and gained interest again but mm. i i realized that a lot of that was because of discreditment by people who were close to me and you know, saying, oh, go and do something with yourself. Like, but not in terms of creative. It's more like uh, go and work, you know, somewhere stable, which is yeah, good yeah. advice. It's, yeah. good, it's good advice, but that shoe doesn't fit all kinds of I souls. Have I have had think. that all my life, Bam. I've had that all my life. Yeah. And, yeah, sometimes you have to. You, you've got to, do, you, you know, you do jobs that you, you don't enjoy. That, you know, that's, that's part and parcel of, of living, I suppose. Um, but I tell you what, nothing compared to being in a creative role. Absolutely no, nothing. That I, I can't even put it into words what it, what it does for me personally, Bam. It's, it's, it's more than a drug. Yeah, no, totally. Like, I've, uh, I've met you, I've met Damo. There's a lot of people that are coming together through this, you know, and that's amazing. Like, that doesn't happen, uh, uh, like, I don't know, working down the supermarket or whatever. But there's nothing wrong with doing that. It's just that's not – never really been me to kind of uh, – I don't know how to put it without sounding – bad i guess but like i've always kind of wanted to be creative you know it's possible you see other people doing it and they're they're, they're doing it well they've made something of themselves in that profession you know so it's possible that was kind of my thinking back yeah. then was like yeah. as hard as it might be it's possible people do it um 
but I've always, as I said, I've always been passionate about acting and that's, that's always been like where, where I want to go with my life. Uh, you know, you got one life and that's where I feel like this is how I kind of get down to it is, uh, it's the one thing that if I'm not perfect at it, it's the one thing that I feel that I can get good at, you know? Very interesting you should say that, Bam, because on episode five of our very own podcast called Head Cases Podcast, which you're on right now, <laughs> we spoke to, to Mr. Pete Bennett, who was the Big Brother winner uh, from 2006. Wow. And this is what we spoke about. You are into your acting, your short films, I do want to yeah. introduce you to a friend of our show. He is phenomenal. His name is Bam. And yeah, I, uh, I tell you what, wow, if we can all cr- come together and, and create a short film or something, or just get creative yeah, do, together, um... let's do it and let's put it out there. And uh, do you know what? Let's change people's perceptions. I mean, yeah, I mean, act- acting's great. I just did a, I just did a film called... Um... I think they're monsters up north. I do like basically what I do. I do horror films, like comedy horror films, like actual long films. Uh, there's someone on Amazon and that. Check out Crispy's Curse on Amazon. That's me. And the, and I, I've been doing like independent horror films for years. So I auditioned to do Catherine Tate. And um, there I was, me and Catherine Tate swearing at each other in the lift. <laughs> like <laughs> I, I, I had Tourette's in the film because she, she cause, you know, Nan loves swearing. That's so right. Yeah. She got me to. She got me to be a, a like, little mate in the lift who's, who have a swear off at each other. And <laughs> I was so, oh, I was just so, so made up that me and Nan were in this lift filming with Warner Brothers. It was the best experience wow. ever. But at the end of the, when, when it came out at the cinema, I, I was cut out. And I was no, so gutted. No, that please. was my dream to oh. finally get at the cinema. But Catherine Tate um, messaged me email she gave me a nice email and she said yeah. i'm sorry pete i couldn't make the scene work we had to cut it out and i was just absolutely gutted oh. so i stopped acting for a bit and i went just the steamed into music and i yeah. you know i was upset uh so i I've, I've, had, I've had a real break from acting but i i just recently did a, a, a film up north with velton lish we did green things together that um sitcom on amazon and yeah, I was I was a vampire, so I've just got back into it. So yeah, any any films that you want, uh, uh, some little twitchy weirdo from Big Brother on there. Uh, <laughs> but when I act, I don't twitch, and I'm really good. Wow, you know, I've got a lot yeah. of shit going on. You know, come on, like you know, I'm up for any films, and anyone out there who wants to get me. Oh, so that's Pete Bennett. Um, that's Pete awesome. Bennett from Big Brother. Wow, what a guy! What a you, guy! You know, and oh, I tell wow. you what, you know, Damo, he, he he's very talented at what he does. Aside yeah. to hosting Head Cases podcast. And in fact, I'll let you describe, Damo, what is coming up. Okay. Right. So um, what we've got planned for the future is uh, I've, I've done a number of, of uh, scripts for films, uh, normally horror, comedy, that kind of thing. Um, there's one that's the, the, we've we've got now, me, me baby at the minute, the one I'm baking in the oven. Um it's, I don't want to get too much detail away, but it's a very unique twist on a group of people who happen to attend um, a unusual location where a seance is being condu- conducted. And um, these are small group of people who are going to be in it, uh, the characters. Um, Pete, we'd like to be one of the characters, obviously myself and Nick. But we'd also like you, Bam, as well, to play one of them parts in it because we think you would fit this particular role perfectly. I don't want to give any details away, and obviously we'll send you when it's completed uh, the script if you have a good read of it, um, and then we'll all get together when we can. We'll get all the gear down, we'll film it, we'll get it all edited, we'll get it out online, we'll win loads of awards, and then we'll turn up at ceremonies where they have big red carpets, <laughs> and uh, we'll thank each other on stage, and then we'll get off. How about that? I am totally down. I am down for that. Like that sounds absolutely amazing. Um, can I ask a little bit more about my role? What <laughs> or am yeah, I not you can ask, I might not tell you, but you can ask. <laughs> <laughs> you said that I would yeah. fit it perfectly in what sense? What right. would I you, but rather sim- rather similar to, to the, the, the show that you do where you've got a certain ingredients that just work well together. Um We've all got different flavors of, of kind of personalities, and your personality is just a really unique one that would fit really nicely next to 
myself, Nick and Pete. Uh, there's also someone else which we're not going to mention yet, by the way, because uh, we've got to get that all put through um, one of the other characters in there. But we, we're just trying to get like it. It's like um, the Avengers. We're trying to assemble the Avengers. <laughs> And get them together. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we, we we will look before you completely commit to it anyway, mate. Uh, we just want to put that out there. Um, and like I say, I just think I think you meet people for a reason in life. I, I do generally oh, think totally. that, that it's sliding goals into it. Yeah. So um, we're meant to meet. This is meant to happen, and there's nothing we can do about it. So just get on the ride, enjoy the roller coaster. We'll scream on it, we'll laugh on it, and we'll get off at the end and say, do you know, I could do that again. That's how it is. Well, yeah. Honestly, Damo, tell me when and where, and I am there. Like, I want to do this. I'm in. Um, the thing is, as I said, what what you're passionate about is the very thing you'll do for free. And I'm the kind of guy who you can call up if you're doing a film. And even if you ring me up and you say, well, I writ this in five minutes. Do you want to do it? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> you know, I, I, I want to be there. Like, I th- I always feel at home on a set and meeting new people and uh, as you said the different flavors of people as well as you put it. I just um, know it'll work. I just know it'll work, honestly, mate. Um, so uh, no, thank you, thank you for that. That's it. That's really made me excited now that we we've uh, we we've, we've all assembled together and I just think it's going to be a magical experience. So yeah, we just, it's going to be a short film. Uh, so it's probably going to be like kind of fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, that kind of length. We just want to get it out to loads of different festivals uh, and get the kind of uh, the brand out there and if that works well which i'm pretty sure it will um then we we can we can create more and more content and we can we can kind of build this little group of of you know uh, I, I, i'm gonna put it uniquely talented people that can all come together and um provide what we need to and obviously you're not forgetting mr nick sapani who is an absolute consummate professional <laughs> as everything he does ish so, ish Yes, yeah, I've got to say though, right? When, when my very first time on Bam's live, people twigged that I was in. Well, I know I think I mentioned that I I was in um, Daz's Ghost Hunt. Yes, and wow, the the reaction from people was 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 one. And obviously, that was a, a period of my time that that I absolutely yeah. loved. Um, but I've got to say, you know, doing a variety of different creative jobs so to speak i say jobs yeah because we all know you know like you say bam you know if if you're passionate about it you're not thinking about the money you are not exactly. thinking about the money and it's I think, still a I, job it's still hard work and i think of course it is dismissed. yeah absolutely yeah. it's but i think that also is very very refreshing from somebody of your age to to think like that and i think that's wonderful I think many- yeah, I think people make the mistake of thinking, oh, I'm going to become an actor. It'll be easy breezy. And, you know, um, no, it is. It's a lot of hard work. And it's not just about what you do on screen. There's a lot behind the screens that don't get accredited for and uh, get the recognition deserved as well. Um, so what I, try, I tried to mention earlier is people always see the end product and they're like wow that's amazing or yeah. that kind of just came together but you don't really see what went into it to, like editing for example you don't see the editing you know and uh again trying to make each cut as smooth as you can and like there's a lot that goes into it and i don't think people kind of grasp that before taking it on it's a lot of hard work yeah no it is it's you know to, to actually appreciate it sit down with a freaking editor <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, my goodness, mate. You got you got hundreds of takes of the same thing, you know, that you got to go through. And <laughs> I know. Oh my goodness, mate. It's do you know what? It's oh, I just love it. Um, it's amazing. Yeah. Is there anything you want to mention, Bam, before we wrap it up? I got a question for Demo about that uh, the horror house that he runs. Okay. Oh, yeah. par- paralysis. Yes. Oh. How did you go about creating that? So that's always been something I've been interested in doing is uh, running a horror house or um, like a, a a live action script that, you know, immerses other people yeah. into it. Like, I love the whole concept of that. Yeah, well, p- paralysis, I mean, check it out online afterwards, which is uh, paralysisescaperooms.com. Um Paralysis was was born out of a, a, just a stupid idea that I had, and it was a stupid idea. I thought, what if, what if people played a, a, an escape room, but they were in a genuinely 
terrifying situation. Not comedy is like it, obviously you laugh because you, horror and comedy go hand in hand anyway. We laugh when we're scared, okay. um, but it's it's for give that adrenaline rush. And it's actually it's now I'm dead proud of it. It's the highest rated horror escape rooms in the UK. We've got over six hundred five star reviews. Um, we've won awards uh, for, for the games that are there. Um, the 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 quit rate of people refusing to play the games or end the games quit is really high because if you've got a good if you've got a good imagination you will convince yourself that you are in a real horror scenario can i yeah can i just say though bam i was tied to a chair in a cellar (laughs) (laughs) unbelievable it says and am i correct in saying damo that jason manford uh, popped in for a little uh, escape thrill. Yes, he, he did actually. Yeah. He, he came in, and in fact, you know, there's a there's a video. If you go and search for uh, Jason Mumford paralysis on YouTube and that, um, okay. like on the social media, there's a video of him talking about uh, playing the game, and he said that that is the best escape game I've ever played. And he wow. says, and I play them all over the country. But he did a little video after it. He never asked him to. He just did that. Awesome. But we, we, it's next door to a theatre as well. It's in an old Victorian building. And it's next door to quite an established old theatre. So we do get like we had a Grease the Musical where he, the, the cast came round. We get that a lot where the cast will just say, can we come round and play a few games? Um, we've had a few celebrities turn up who've gone, all right, it's quite scary. And they've gone home. And not gone in. We've had that as well. Um, but it's just, it's just. A, do you know what, Bam? As well, I'd like to extend uh, an invitation. If you'd like to come up, or tell you what, tonight, why don't you go live tonight? Um, have a bit of fun with some people, and you can bring five of your uh, your, your viewers, your 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 Bam fam, with you, and come and play a sex player game on the house. You can come and have a go. How about that? No way. No, can I do no that? problem. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, no problem. You have just made my night. One hundred percent, I'm down for that. One hundred percent. Yeah, just, just um, tonight. Just do you, not to sell it. I'm not bothered about that because it sells itself. But if you want to talk about it tonight, mention that you spoke to us. Uh, the horror escape rooms, paralysis escape rooms in Stoke, uh, and that you've been offered this. So figure a way that you can get some people to uh, come along and just bring some of your BAM fam, do a nice little video if you want to viewing the guys there, and then you can post it out there. Um, but just enjoy yourselves. Have a good night. That's exciting news, Demo. I am I am honoured and um, thank you so much. Um, yes, definitely. I will bring that up on my live tonight. That's that's the only problem. You have to come into Stoke on Trent to play. It. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, it's 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 the middle of the country, so it's Stoke on Trent. Um, it's very really, it's, it's, it's not um, a problem for me. I love being on the road. Yeah, it's a it's a good place, uh, Stoke. Hanley's a bit of a zombie town. Uh, it is actually the centre of, of Stoke on Trent, but it's a bit of a zombie town. It's a bit quiet, um, but it's um, it's such an amazing location. Prowlers, as soon as you come outside and you look up at the building, it's got that um, it's got that the, you know the exorcist outside the front when he's standing outside the front of the building. It's got that feel about it when you're outside and you look at it. You think, oh, do I need to go in there? Because it's an old Victorian building, it's, and it's it's haunted. We have lots of activity. We've been on um, uh, haunted uh, programs like documentaries on TV. You can search them. They've been out. Um, in fact, when Daz uh, Daz's ghost hunt came down, they caught poltergeist activity where Daz's girlfriend had a hair pulled, and that was actually you caught that on on film. And you saw a hair yeah. being pulled out, and, and like I say, you can't fake that kind of stuff. That that just all happened. But it's um, a magical place. It's a magical place. Perhaps we could even arrange for Mr. Nicholas Zapani to do a little road trip and perhaps say... Uh, oh, mate, I'll, you, listen, I, I will be there, all right? Do we? Yes. Don't Let's you, go don't you worry about that. When comes. Why don't you come down when Bam comes and all do it together, eh? Let's do yes, it. Let's that's do it. Yeah. Would, we, would we be able to go live inside or yeah. would, is you, that a no-go because of... You can, you can go live inside the, the building and that lot. Um, I wouldn't necessarily really encourage people to go live inside the games because it's like kind of it's it's like a, it's a spoiler isn't it then other people would be like oh well that's what it looks like inside part of the fun is walking into these environments and then you feel everything very real all of a sudden um and we want to keep that uh, that kind of the mystery there and that lot i need to ask you as well just before we go because i know we're winding it up as well which it's been absolutely wonderful to meet you by, by the way mate um Likewise. but uh, your bam yeah 
can, can do you think there's a way that we can actually start something with Nick? Because I think we should start a similar thing, but called Spam. Could we do, could we do Stop that, it. Nick? Stop it. <laughs> the Spam <laughs> Fam. We could do that. It's called Spam Fam. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think there is definitely, um, there is definitely uh, potential for... Um, Greater collapse. As I said, I, I think I, I gel really well with you guys. And uh, you, I, I, again, extremely grateful for you for you guys having me on the show, on the podcast. Um, Pleasure. But yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm down for anything, like uh, especially create, uh, creative. Um, totally. I'm in. Whatever, yeah. whatever you want to do, I'm in. <laughs> oh, this is it's, it's the way forward. It is the way <laughs> forward. <laughs> The, the, the spam, the spam and Damo fam. <laughs> I think that needs a lot of work, Damo. That is not good. Spam and damn fam. What about that one? It's not a cheer mate yeah, moment, mate. I can tell you that spam now. Spam and damn fam. Right, we're going to talk to us. Spam, spam and damn. Right, bam, before you go, just just let us know where can people find you on social media. Uh, you can find my main platform is TikTok. That's where I host my lives. They're free to join and you can get involved. Um, uh, we have a Bam Fam Snapchat for those who subscribe to the TikTok. On top of that, we have YouTube. Um, but that's just, that's fresh at the moment. And that's going to be hosting a lot of uh, like short films and that kind of thing. We wish you all the best. Continued uh, we success. Know you're gonna do, yeah, we, we know you're going to do well, mate. And do please keep in touch with us now. You're a friend of, of the show. You're a friend of mine and Nick's. And uh, we're looking forward to see what the world presents to you and what you can give the world. So all power to you, mate. Keep it up. Thank you so much. And likewise, um, yeah, I think we can uh, do great things, you know. And yeah, it's as I said, it's, it's very overwhelming, but I'm I'm so honoured. Thank you so much to both of you, Damo and Nick. Thank you so much. Head Cases Podcast, hosted by Damo Sims and Nick Stapani. Headcasespodcast.co.uk